Let's get started with a Snap-on EELD500 Smart Smoke Leak Detector. In this video, we'll show you the setup and operational procedures. Out of the box, remove the dipstick. Install one complete bottle of smoke solution that comes with the unit and reinsert the dipstick. That's it. Smart Smoke is ready to go. Using the Smart Smoke can be as simple as performing a pass fail test on an EVAP system. Here's how it's done. For this test, we'll connect an optional CO2 bottle with the preset regulator to the machine. Remove the Schrader valve and connect the service port adapter. Now insert the Smart Smoke supply hose. Now connect the battery leads. The Smart Smoke immediately powers up. There's no power on switch. The display defaults to shop air, but you can choose from nitrogen or CO2 by pressing the display select button. The unit defaults to 20 thousandths orifice leak size. With one push of the start button, the machine self-calibrates, smokes, and tests. Within five minutes, you'll know if the system passes or fails. It's that simple. Let's go over the operational controls. There are only three buttons. Display Select, Orifice Select, and the Start button. Let's start with the Display Select button. At initial startup, you have a five second timeout period in which you can select Shop Air, Nitrogen, or CO2 with the Display Select button. If you don't make a selection, the machine defaults to Shop Air. Smart Smoke defaults to Orifice Leak Size 20 thousandths and Off Decay. All three LEDs are lit. Push the display select button once and the flow in liters per minute LED will light. The digital display now reads flow in liters per minute. Push the display select button a second time and either the pressure in H2O or the vacuum in H2O LED will light. In this mode, you're measuring pressure or vacuum in inches of water column. If you push the display select button a third time, the display will read off. In four seconds, it will enter into sleep mode. You have three seconds to press any button to stop it from going into a sleep mode. After eight minutes of no activity, the unit will automatically shut itself off. Next is the orifice select button. At startup, the smart smoke defaults to 20 thousandths the standard for model year 2000 and newer vehicles. Push the button to change it to 40 thousandths for 1999 and older cars. Push it a third time to switch to 10 thousandths. This is a future setting. The third button is the start five minute switch. Push this button to start the five minute test. Smart Smoke self calibrates, smokes and tests in a single operation. Push it a second time and the machine enters the low flow mode. In low flow, smart smoke reduces flow and pulses the smoke. This makes it easier to pinpoint leaks when it's hard to determine where the smoke is coming from. In low flow, the unit also makes a clicking sound to let you know smart smoke is in the low flow mode. Push the button a third time and it will change to off decay. With off decay, Smart Smoke goes into a standby mode in which only the digital display remains active. Push the Start button a fourth time and the system resumes operation. The digital readout displays full flow. There is one warning LED, Polarity Protect. Polarity Protect will light up if the battery cables are hooked up incorrectly. If polarity is reversed, the machine will not come on.
let's hunt down a few leaks using Smart Smoke. To find an EVAP leak for newer vehicles without a green cap EVAP port, install the optional Blue Point gas cap adapter and connect the Smart Smoke supply hose into the adapter. Press the Start button. Smart Smoke self calibrates, smokes, and tests. All that's left is to locate the leak. To switch to low flow, push the Start button or you can use the included wireless remote. The remote mimics the functions of the start button on the machine, which comes in handy when you're more than an arm's length away. Smart Smoke also works with the patented Ultra Trace UV dye solution. Using a UV flashlight, Smart Smoke makes the invisible visible on this cylinder head gasket. Beyond leaks, Smart Smoke can be used to test fuel tank pressure sensors and switches. This is invaluable when testing for failed ESIM or NVLD switches on later model Chryslers or Jeeps. Here's the procedure. Connect the Smart Smoke hose to the filler neck port. Connect a diagnostic tool. Now push the display select button once to see flow in liters per minute. And then hit the button a second time to enter the pressure vacuum mode. With the optional vacuum pump, apply vacuum and keep an eye on the diagnostic tool readout. The LEDs on the unit will light to indicate pressure or vacuum in inches of water column. If the switch opens or closes, it's functional. The test is complete. This will also work for testing and comparing fuel tank pressure sensors. To locate wind leaks, roll up all the windows, turn on the vehicle's HVAC blower, set to fresh air, connect Smart Smoke to Shop Air, and push the start button. With a diffuser attached to the supply hose, lay a smoke path along the window seals to find a leak. To test a differential or axle seal leak, Connect the Smart Smoke hose to the breather port on the differential. Hit the Start button and search down the leak. That's all there is to it. Available options for Smart Smoke include CO2 bottles and regulators, a cover with handle access, a second smoke hose, additional wireless remotes, a vacuum pump, gas cap adapters, and the smoke solution. Smart Smoke is backed by a three-year warranty and tech line. Operational phone support when you need it. Once your Smart Smoke is registered, your free tech line service is automatically activated. The Smart Smoke Leak Detection System. One unit many ways to save time and generate profits only from Snap-on. <laughs>